Forever seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I feel like I'm walking on water since the day that I asked your father to let go of his daughter. So give me your blessing, sir. I'll give her all that I've got. Doesn't look like much, but it sure feels like a lot. Let her take my heart. Christian, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Caitlin, take you, Christian, to be my husband. I, Caitlin, take you, Christian, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. It is my great privilege and pleasure to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Carrera.
silhouette over me The way it brings out the blue in your eyes is the Tenerife Sea And all of the voices surrounding us here They just fade out when you take a breath Just say the word and now we'll disappear into the wilderness Should this be the last thing I see I want you to know it's enough for me So that you are is all that I'll ever need I'm so in love So in love So in love At your essence, Caitlin, there is goodness. And as any parent could ever want or wish for a child, you are inherently good. Um, you do good things, and you make good choices, and you choose well. And you chose really well in choosing a good man like Christian. <laughs> goodness respect, um, appreciation for life, charitable, um, and um, exceptional. Um, collectively, they add up to grace. And so um, you are truly, um, in my mind, so graceful in, in life. And so thank you so much for, for um, bringing us all together, you and Christian, this evening. Um, I do want to say one thing about Christian, if I can. Um, <laughs> so um, I took notice um, when Caitlin was with traveling nurses, and she was traveling to different areas, but she especially traveled to San Diego. And um, one time, Caitlin was ill, and so Christian sent soup to her one night when she was not well. And I knew that that was a very special thing for someone to do, for someone they cared about. And from that time on, I knew Christian was just a, a stand-up guy and a, gonna, uh, a good person and, and, um, and someone that I would um, be so happy to um, have as a son and son-in-law. So um, that was a wonderful um, thing that you did, Christian. Kim and I are so happy for the two of you and so grateful to be here with you, and I'm so grateful to everyone here to share this wonderful celebration of Caitlin and Christian and the rest of their life together. The perfect compliment to Christian. You're understanding, loving, easygoing, all important qualities when dealing with Christian. I'm grateful that you put up with all of our shenanigans, and I'm super grateful that you try to stay out past your time. And I am thankful that you came into Christian's life and it is apparent you two are soulmates. If, if he's not playing tennis, drinking beer, he's probably on the phone talking to BMW or a cable company, who knows, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, but in all serious, man, you're the most caring, loyal, dependable best friend that anyone could ask for. And uh, I'm so happy that you have found the person that you want to spend a life with. One thing I've learned about Kaylin that I've learned to love about Caitlin is her brutal honesty. <laughs> Growing up, it wasn't always the easiest thing, but what I appreciate now is that Caitlin doesn't tell you what you want to listen to, she tells you what you need to hear. She's your biggest cheerleader and will always have your back, but she'll always have your best interests at heart and give you tough love. I will be like, Caitlin, I'm very disappointed in myself, I don't know what to do, like help me. She always says, it's okay, you're amazing, and I love you. And then she finishes with, but don't ever do that again. <laughs> Got it, thank you. The first time I met Christian was at a Penn State tailgate. He came down where we were hosting an event to honor veterans. The night before, I open the door and I see Caitlin beaming, and I see a man standing beside her. My first impression of Christian, don't trust the pictures. He's not photogenic. <laughs> but 
but he's a very handsome man in person, as you all see. I made a checklist in my mind of things that I was observing about him. He's down to earth, check. He's funny, check. He wears loafers. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's refreshing to see a Caitlin and Christian. The world's a lot brighter with both of you in it. I am so genuinely happy and thankful that you two met each other and get to spend the rest of your lives together. Even though this is a beautiful wedding, the attention to detail, the food, the decorations, most importantly, what a beautiful life you two are about to embark on. All right, it's shot. Down the street, to straight in a strange world. Maybe it's the third world. Maybe it's his first time around. Now, 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 Come on!